Greetings from Bali, honey. Been up for maybe about an hour. Took a photo or two of the sunrise earlier as we were pulling in. At this point, we've been in long enough to be cleared by customs. But as my shore excursion doesn't meet until around, or maybe it's after 10, I'm not in any great hurry to get out. Last night was a bit of a long night. Stayed up a bit, trying to get everything put together as far as the videos for the day. And I'm still not, as you can tell, quite recovered from the last couple of days. Still, I guess I'm as ready for the day as anything. I've just dosed myself in a liberal amount of sunscreen. Uh, don't like the way it feels so sticky on me, but it's a necessary evil because the alternative is crisping myself up like a good strip of bacon, which probably gives you the suggestion that I didn't have that much for dinner last night or that I'm just really hungry for breakfast today. I don't know which. Uh, either way, I probably should head up there before I head out. Unfortunately, if we're being greeted like we were in Lombok, under the assumption that this is our first time in the area, I'm not aware of it. Uh, can't hear it from this side, as you can see. Uh, we don't get the docks on this side, which, you know, you either get the welcoming committee or you get a nice view of the harbor itself. You can't really get both. So this isn't all that bad. Well, apart from the noise of the airport behind me. Wow. That is... Okay, I did not realize just how close overhead they would get. I'm not sure you could actually touch the thing from the 12th or 13th deck. But I wouldn't be surprised. That was mildly alarming after a moment there. <laughs> anyway, I'm wandering here. So I'm going to let you go. I need to finish putting myself together and um, get ready for the day. Don't worry, I'll take you along with. You can see it at least once I've got everything compiled. And hopefully we'll have a good time. Talk to you later. <laughs> The maidens of Bali are more interested in posing than dancing at the moment, it seems. And we tourists are fine with that, apparently. Well, it would seem we're at another inaugural park. And given the reaction, I suspect that Morel was also one, and I didn't know it until until now. I don't remember anything like this in Tahiti, though. Once again, the touts are out in force today. I can't say that I enjoy it. There's something we said for the attention, but all things considered, I'm just as happy to have a tour in order to fend them off. It's really a nice place here at the, the port, but you don't get a lot of time to think for yourself and go, I just want to look around for a second. They're on top of you like, Eyes on rotting meat, frankly. It's really a very different vibe around here. Mm. And I'm afraid I can't talk while I'm going downstairs. Gotta be very careful. The hotel has escorts around, which, while normally I guess I'd be put off by that, I know I've said something about the PRC back in the day, and I didn't like that. 
And indeed, it feels strange to be talking if there's someone at my side like this. But it's a little bit less overbearing here. They're really basically guiding us which way to walk around the hotel grounds. And they are capacious, to say the least. It's spread out, sprawling. Um, and actually, everything here seems so much larger than when you see it on the map. Look at it saying 500 meters this way or that. Uh, and it still took 10 minutes by bus to go down the causeway, let alone into the neighborhood in which the hotel is located and through the hotel grounds. I can see the need for a guide because you just get lost amongst all the winding passageways here. Not gonna lie, honey, you'd be all over these towels, that's for sure. Anyway, they've got a whole bunch of different pools throughout the grounds. And a few more steps from here. And we get to the beach proper. I don't know how much time I'm gonna spend at one place or another. Oh, I'm gonna get bored and move around quite a bit, in fact, who knows. They have a spa, a gym, you know, all the facilities. And I guess they even have Wi-Fi so I can connect and do stuff as we go around. But we'll see how that works later on. For now, I'm just trying to find my way around, get myself a place to sit down and be comfortable. Maybe even get out of the sun. There's, a, there's actually a bit more of it than I'd like to mess with when we go. But for the moment, just looking around and see what they've got here. Well, I guess I've made it here in spite of myself, huh? It took me maybe about five minutes to get everything arranged, both at the foot of this hammock and in it. But this is a darn sight better than one of the beach chairs, honestly in part because there is no one of the beach chairs. Most of them seem to be arranged in clusters of two. Yeah, not gonna mess with that. And at the moment, I'm just as happy to be in the shade. Uh, it may be a good thing to get a little bit of a tan, but ooh, it's, it's already oppressive and I'm not getting the sun right now. So, yeah. Still, at least I don't have to think too hard at the moment. Just kind of take it easy, rest, relax, maybe catch up on a few thoughts here and there. But until then, enjoy what I got. I have this sneaking suspicion that I'm missing my rocking chair at this point. Uh, finally gotten used to lying around in this hammock. And honestly, a couple of hours have gone by since I first climbed in here. And now I'm just feeling like getting up and as soon as I've got my feet on the sand, this thing starts rocking and I'm just kinda like, yeah, my resolve kinda leaves and I just stay here for a bit yet. Oh dear. So I'm not going anywhere just yet, despite the fact that it seems like a beautiful sunny day. Um, I really should get into the water at some point, shouldn't I, honey? I know you'd be dragging me there, or at least going out there yourself. So, I should just stop this thing rocking and uh, get myself over there. As comfortable as I am like this at the moment, which, <laughs> now that you think about it, I really should be more self-conscious. Um, maybe I've gotten used to filming, maybe I've just gotten used to just lying out here in this hammock. Um, but either way, I'm realizing I need to put a shirt on if I'm gonna grab myself some lunch. Because uh, Indonesia or not, it's still no shirt, no shoes, no service. So, so I went down here onto the sands, the beach, and into the ocean just to see what it was like. And I think it's gonna be a bit more challenging this time around because 
I've literally got my hands full. I'm talking to you with the one hand, I've got you here in my other, and before I could put my hands in the water, uh, I don't have that option now. The sand just sinks. With every step you take, every step, your foot just sinks in. And does not get much in the way of purchase. It's a challenging process to do this. But I figure I need all the practice I can get. I've still got a year before the girls are able to go to the island. Admittedly, Lake Erie isn't gonna be nearly this warm and comforting, but at least we get some practice of actually, oh, <laughs> actually getting into the water and seeing what I can do with this. So, here you go. Can I do this one-handed? Yeah, actually I can. But I'm just gonna make this a brief foray. Welcome to Bali. This is not some place we ever planned on going. Um, wouldn't have hurt. It would have been nice to see Dave and Tracy like the folks did. But uh, they've gone back to the States now. So, uh, there wouldn't have been quite the call to do so. But either way, uh, welcome to the ocean. Uh, I hope you find a little bit of home here. out of the water either way is uh, more of a challenge than I expect it would be especially considering that I'm not dealing with rocks or anything like that you know in some ways I look at this place I was staring at it from the restaurant earlier and you look at the foliage the greenery it's got this lush Edenic feel to it I can see why people think of Bali as paradise. And yet, at the same time, it's a very deliberate, almost artificial sort of thing. Um, as fake as this concrete turtle or that rattan light bulb hanging from the tree there. It's not entirely natural growth. And in fact, you wouldn't expect it to be. Uh, as we just sort of learned from walking through Ampanan, chaos is the natural <laughs> order of things, as contradictory as that is. Things don't grow this well, this cleanly, without discipline and help. For this area to be the garden that it is, there are gardeners, there are people tending this place, there are people walking through here picking up leaves, let alone trash. I mean, this is a five-star resort as opposed to the back streets of the city. Their revenue depends on keeping this as clean and neat and beautiful as possible in order to attract high rolling tourists. Yeah, like myself. I still have a hard time wrapping my head around that collection of words. But that's the thing. In order to truly bring out the beauty of something, it takes some work. God plants and allows things to grow, but we are supposed to tend it. 
in our way. And that's literally been the case since the very first man. The fact that everything here is so well manicured just goes to show. Uh, there's somebody behind it. Keep making sure that everything is in place, everything is nice and neat, and everybody who visits it is pleased to consider coming back and suggesting that other people come back. As far as I can tell, it certainly works. I was walking along earlier and I spotted this in the, the air and thought, oh, they've got a temple on the grounds or something like that, don't they? Or maybe it's built around something like that. Well, and then I moved in on it and realized it's actually a kid's playground. There's something strange about turning something turning a bit of heritage into something to play around. I mentioned how this place seems just a little artificial, and um, while it's good as far as upkeep goes, uh, it does sort of make you wonder where it begins and ends. How much of this is real and how much of this is to use a Western expression of the concept, Disneyfied. I understand so much of this is ancient in terms of the architecture, the faiths, the beliefs, the practices, but how much of it really even exists anymore and how much of it is just that way for the sake of us tourists now. Bear in mind where I am. It's a resort. It is not meant for the locals. So, is it possible this is all fake? Um, or should I just quit worrying about it, like the folks at Best Brains say? You know, just repeat to yourself, it's... It's just vacation. I should really just relax. And yet I can't quite get it out of my head. Of course, here's a puzzler for you. When we talk about the beauty of the architecture from thousands of years ago. And yet here we are, like I said, in the courtyard of a five-star hotel. This stuff was built up for the hotel. But in a way, uh, how different is that from what was built by men a thousand years ago? Is this any less or more special because of that? Because they've endured for all that time? Or because it was put together with machinery rather than by hand? Is that what makes it spectacular? And for that matter, how do I know that it wasn't put together by hand even when they built all this? I really don't know what to think. For me to say this is all fake is just saying, okay, it was built by humans. The ones that were ancient were built by humans too. It's just a different set of humans. I suppose the ancient things are more impressive because they've lasted so long. Um, and the fact that they were built with limited technology, although I have no idea how these were built, uh, whether they bothered to use what we think of as modern technology or not, or you know, they had a certain limitation as well back in the day. I don't even know how old this area is. So maybe I have no right to complain about the certain fake nature of it all. Because you know, the question of just how fake is everything? Consider too the possibility that this banyan behind me is not man-made. 
this is the real thing and it grew here. I don't know how fast these things grow, but this thing is immense. Its sibling, on the other hand, isn't quite so impressive, but at the same time, it's not small either. So clearly, everything's been here for some time. To argue that it's less because it's more recent seems a little unfair. And certainly being the city boy I am, I've seemed to be more into the newer things as it is. So I shouldn't have any objections uh, to whether something is real or not. Uh, the question is, is it useful? Can it be enjoyed in the state that it's in? And the fact of the matter is it can. It may not be necessarily my tastes, but that's not something that you can blame the hotel for. That's more my issue than it. So, uh, the shops down here by the hotel seem curiously unmanned until you walk inside them. And then, almost as if by magic, someone appears. Uh, apparently, from the main lobby shop that I've just started at. And um, I got a few things. Coffee, candy, that sort of thing. While I was there, I saw a container of the suntan spray, which I was starting to run low out of, as you know and thought I'd put that on my tab as well. And the proprietor said, well, that runs you 600,000 rupiah, which is about 40 bucks. And that seemed a bit excessive even to me. But he did call it out on me at first. So um, I guess I'm just gonna have to be careful for the next couple of days at sea. Only tan for so long, which uh, shouldn't be a problem for me. Anyway, I've still got around an hour before we head out, and I've seen and done what I meant to, and then some, I think. I'm not sure what to do with myself for the next hour. I suppose I could sit here by this koi pool and watch the fish, but I uh, don't know what else there is to tell you about it. Time being, I think I'll have to let you go, and we can talk later on. Hopefully, things will be a little more eventful. I'll be a little more motivated and more healthy over the next couple of days we're at sea. So you may hear more from me. But for now, um, I'll talk to you later. Take care of yourself and keep an eye on me and wish me luck. We are going to see more of these in Japan.